comes to mind when the word robot is mentioned. Do you envision a metallic humanoid traveling through space in the far future? Maybe you picture a dark future when robot overlords rule mankind and make humans their slaves. Or perhaps you picture a line of robot-like devices assembling cars on an auto assembly line. Whatever your opinions, there is no denying that robots are here to stay. Fortunately, it appears that using robots will be more about carrying out difficult or dangerous duties than gaining absolute authority. In today's episode, we will see the AI female robots that will live in the future. Before the video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 12, Asuna. A smartphone called Asuna was created by Hiroshi Ishiguro and the A-Lab team in Tokyo. She appears to be a sweet 15-year-old girl at close range, standing 155 centimeters tall and weighing around 43 kilograms. This hyper-realistic robot is so convincingly human-like that even the convention reporter who was covering it became confused and thought it was one of the AKB48 band idols. You've probably seen pictures of robots that resemble humans before, but this android's true beauty is in her movements. You'll be amazed by Asuna's mannerisms seeming naturalness. Asuna truly stands out from other androids, from the way she blinks and closes her eyes to the yawn-like curve of her lips. Some people think that her skin is the key to her lifelike appearance. Number 11, Jia Jia. If not, you definitely will in the near future. The University of Science and Technology of China recently created a humanoid robot that is so realistic that it walks the edge of the uncanny valley between being comforting and terrifying. Jia Jia has a lot of attributes. They can talk to her directly and ask questions of her. She might produce minor facial expressions in response to questions or actions. Robot Jia Jia is programmed to carry out any instructions that are given to it. You did indeed hear it right, Jia Jia is trained to make particular facial expressions appropriate to the desired format when having a brief conversation with someone. She might also pick up some new abilities from them. She appears so genuine. Since Jia Jia can hold a basic conversation and display specific facial emotions upon request, her creator believes the startlingly lifelike robot heralds a period when cyborg labor will be prevalent in China. Number 10, Geminoid F. A type of android known as a Geminoid is made to look more like a particular person than a generic human. The name Geminoid comes from the Latin word Geminus, which means twin. Geminoid literally translates as like a twin. If you had a Geminoid, it would look just like you. A Geminoid may look like a human, but it's not intelligent enough to act like one. Instead, it is pre-programmed to carry out easy activities like singing or greeting people and is controlled remotely. The Geminoid F's skin on its face and body is soft and flexible, unlike the hard materials that are commonly used to construct robots. The Geminoid F has silicone skin, which contributes to her appearance of authenticity. For the Geminoid F's expressive lifelikeness, we can thank actuators. She exhibits almost human-like blinking, twitching, and smiling. The Geminoid F can be remotely controlled or programmed to perform a straightforward routine. Number 9, Ariza. After the first letters of the words from Aru's Robotics and Interactive Solutions, Arisa was given her name. While Android Arisa first surfaced in 2017, her first trial run at two Tokyo subway stations didn't start until 2018. She is the result of Aru's games and ideas and the creation of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Arisa, a touchscreen equipped six foot tall humanoid, will provide travelers with directions and information, pose for photos, and even dance for them. She is fluent in English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean, and she also has a stylish wardrobe. Arisa was created with the intention of anticipating and accommodating the escalating number of tourists that arrived in the capital as a result of the summer games. Number 8. HRP 4C Meme 
The HRP-4C, often called Meme, is a humanoid robot that resembles a woman. It was created by the Japanese research facility National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. Meme weighs 43 kilograms and is 158 centimeters tall without the power pack. Based on the Japanese Body Dimension database from 1997 to 98, she has the physique of a normal young Japanese lady and a realistic looking head and face. She can move like a human because of her 30 body motors and 8 facial expression motors. Using speech recognition software, Meme can distinguish background noise and respond to spoken commands. The first public demonstration of HRP4C's increased skills to imitate human facial and head movements, as well as dance routines, took place, both as a human simulator for device testing and in the entertainment industry, the HRP4C has potential applications. Number 7. Amica Amica is the most sophisticated human-shaped robot in the world and represents the cutting edge of human robotics technology. Amica is the ideal humanoid robot platform for human-robot interaction because it was created primarily as a platform for the development of future robotics technologies. Amica, like our Mesmer and Robothespian robots, is a fantastic attraction in addition to being a development platform. French, Chinese, and hundreds of other languages are just a few of the many languages Amica can speak. If you ask for a smile, you can get a tight grin on her rubbery blue face. Amica's abilities can be improved in the future through physical and software upgrades thanks to the modular architecture, all without having to shell out money for a brand new robot. Number 6. Actroid one of the first androids created by Osaka University researchers, Actroid made her public appearance at The Robot, which has the appearance of a young Japanese woman and made its debut in 2003 at the Tokyo International Robot Expo. Since its skin is constructed of silicone, the creators claim it is a groundbreaking example of a fembot or gynoid. Actroid is capable of blinking, adjusting its position in the chair, moving its eyes and head, and even imitating breathing patterns. A specially created pneumatic system, which comprises servo motors powered by compressed air, regulates all of these motions. It is equipped with artificial intelligence software that enables it to respond to and stop quick actions like a slap. The robot will respond differently to different types of touches, such as a firm push and a gentle caress, thanks to artificial intelligence. Actroids can mimic human expressions and gestures in real time, and were initially built to serve as receptionists. Number 5. Whitney Cummings Robot if you follow Whitney Cummings on social media, you may have noticed what we can only refer to as a Whitney robot appearing in her feeds. No, we're not talking about a robotic real doll made in her likeness, we're talking about her human look-alike. In her new Netflix series, Can I Touch It?, Cummings examines the coming robot revolution and asks whether we'd be okay with them taking over some of the jobs that people are required to accomplish. She quips, if you're afraid of being replaced by a huge piece of plastic, you're not really bringing that much to the table in the first place. She visited a sex robot factory and helped create her look-alike, Cummings tells the audience. Cummings claimed that when trying to come up with something original for the set, the concept of the robot suddenly struck her. Number 4. Nadine a social robot created in the spirit of Professor Nadia Magnanat Talman. With her distinct human-like features, realistic hands, and skin and hair that look natural, Nadine is unique. It is a socially intelligent robot that responds to welcomes, maintains eye contact, and recalls every discussion that has been held with it. Depending on the nature of the contact with the user, it can respond to queries on its own in a variety of languages and simulate emotions through gestures and facial expressions. Nadine is currently employed with the AIA insurance company in Singapore as a customer service representative. 
Previously employed as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University, or NTU, Nadine's network of friends was restricted to NTU's Institute of Media Innovations students, staff, and visitors. Number three, Sophia. The Hansen Robotics business in Hong Kong created Sophia, a social humanoid robot. In mid-March 2016, during South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, the United States, Sophia made its first public appearance after being activated on February 14th. Sophia is promoted as a social robot who can imitate social behavior and elicit romantic feelings in people. Sophia has been featured in numerous high-profile interviews and has been covered by media outlets worldwide. Sophia became the first robot to be awarded legal personhood in any nation when she was granted Saudi Arabian citizenship in October 2017. Sophia became the first non-human recipient of a United Nations title when she was designated the UNDP's first innovation champion in November 2017. Number 2. Scarlett Johansson A humanoid robot that a 42-year-old Hong Kong designer built came to life. Not just any robot, but a humanoid robot that resembles the well-known Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson. According to Reuters, robots and animation have been Ricky Ma's longtime obsessions. The Johansson-like robot known as Mark One reportedly cost Ma $50,000 over a year and a half period to create. The robot can animate its facial emotions, such as smiling and winking, and is made of silicone skin and 3D printed parts. Mark One can move her arms and legs and she responds to Ma's praise. Mark One lacks brilliance, she only has a few prepared remarks to amuse her audience. She smiles a little and lowers her brows when you compliment her on how beautiful she is, as if she were embarrassed by the compliment. Astonishingly realistic expression. Number 1. Erica Erica, who is 23 years old, is the most advanced humanoid to result from a partnership between the universities of Osaka and Kyoto and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. She is a better looking version of Geminoid F, another Ishiguro creation that made a cameo in Sayonara, director Koji Fukada's film adaptation of the stage play of the same name. However, as people interact with robots more regularly, ethical questions have also surfaced that still need adequate resolutions. A clause in the user agreement put there by SoftBank, the company that made Pepper, states that owners are not allowed to engage in other indecent behavior or engage in sexual activity on the Android. That concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching and for your continued support. Please like and subscribe for more amazing videos. Here are some fantastic videos that I believe you will enjoy. Simply click on the left or right video to watch it.